Hello and welcome back to what's good about the tank. It's been like a year or so, I guess. Because I've been busy with other projects. To be honest, I haven't been busy that much. I just dumped this idea and then I came back to it because, you know, I think it was a good time and I was in a good mood. In this video, I analyze and appreciate others' aquascapes. All the content creators, all the aquascapers around the world. Big shout out to them for sharing this interesting media on social media, of course. So, you know, and this includes Reddit and Instagram. So, I saved some in order to appreciate and tell other people, especially those who just want to begin aquascaping, what is good, especially good about all those aquascapes and aquariums. So, let's get down to it. The first one, uh, it's on Reddit. This is, I think, a Wallstead Method Aquarium, because take a look at this six substrate and a lot of plants. I see here Guppy Grass, I see Ludwigia, Water Sprites, Cryptocorins here, you see, and many other plants. I think that there are tons of different, you know, species, so we have a single betta fish here, some shrimp, and I also saw, as you can see, a few rasboras. I think there are a few, maybe some shrimp if the bat is not very aggressive. So very, very appreciated such a tank because take a look at the, the amount of plants. There are tons of them and it helps to filter water without any additional needs. And this substrate helps because it helps them to grow, you know. Uh, this one, you see, the aquascaper here went with this, you know, more geometric design is like a cliff and on this cliff there are some plants growing and it creates this perspective you know and it also also uh, you see it's also an example of how innovative and how you know unusual you can be when you design an aquascape it's not necessarily about this you know natural forms sometimes you can even implement some geometry and sharper forms and it still looks natural so you see it looks like a cliff which is like overgrown with plants which is maybe unlikely in real life but you know aquascaping is aquascaping it's about implementing natural ideas in a natural uh, setting and uh, uh, I really like the growing, you know, the growth here. The growth rate is really nice uh, because of the CO2 probably, of course, you see. This is the CO2, I just, you know, like noticed it. But believe me, without CO2, such bushy lush growth is unlikely, especially when you have different species of plants. Uh, beautiful, beautiful aquarium and the fish kind of complement this flow. You see, there is a flow coming from one side of the tank to another and fish are supposed to complement this flow okay so next one will be this one so this aquarium is slightly different because it has some dodgy aquascape wipes because of the amount of different plants embedded and the plants are bigger in scale because it is a big aquarium so i think that the designer here it kind, he kind of went with this you know bigger leaf plants in order to create a bigger scale so you know and sometimes it works and pay attention to the fact that you know mostly mostly uh, the plants are concentrated on the center maybe a little bit off center be just a little bit so it kind of has this island vibes happening and different colors also highlight the more dutch aquascape the nature of this aquarium uh, and uh, the stocking here i see some colombian tetras here some other tetra types and also angel fish i think there are only two maybe because it's just a pair oh no there are more i i right now i'm, I'm counting, counting like four or five angel fish here take a look this one that one and also these three and uh, the angel fish themselves are so beautiful they have this bluish color there is such a species well, very nice aquarium. The black background kind of contrast with the rest of the aquarium. It's not like black, it's more like gray. So I think that it was, if it was black, it would be even better. Because you see there is a black filter here. So, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, like, it's not like a very critical because the aquascape and the maintenance of the aquarium is just impeccable, okay? So the next one, the next one is a shallow aquarium and I really like shallow tanks, you know, it has this natural wipe to it because of the algae, which is kind of like all around, take a look here, algae. And I'm telling you, when you have hair algae like this, it's very difficult to get rid of it. 
So, you know, maybe sometimes it's just better to leave it as it is if it doesn't disturb other plants. For example, right now I see that it is on wood primarily. So maybe let's hope it doesn't touch other plants because judging by the pictures, it doesn't that much. And uh, different plants just sparingly, you know, planted around. We have some red cherry shrimp and beautiful skunk quarries and also some pentacores that are smaller. I do have some of those. And uh, the sand here gives this, you know, beachy vibes. It looks like a, like a clean, you know, shallow uh, shoreline or something. So, you know, I think that these shallow aquariums are really perfect for corridor catfish and I wish I had such a tank and I would just, you know, place a lot of quarries in here. It would be like bigger, maybe like 10 gallon or maybe more. So, you know, uh, and uh, right now the owner here, he just asks for some suggestions about the meat water. Absolutely, yes, because, you know, I think that there is no stocking right now besides shrimp and quarries. So I don't even know what to suggest myself, but I'm sure that people have come up with some solutions. Okay, let's come to the next one. This one, it surprised me with the amount of, you know, with the amount of uh, stones, different stones. Take a look. All the substrate is basically the stones. It may have some consequences. For example, some pieces of wood may just go through and uh, just build up here but i think because of the amount of crystal shrimp here it will not be a problem probably so you know and i guess that this is the only the shrimp only aquarium shallow and take a look here the designer here he went with, with this two island with stones two island uh, kind of composition so one is slightly higher than another and there is a pathway, you know, maybe it was like a pathway or maybe there are like two islands. I think it was more like a pathway. But anyway, no matter how you look at it, no matter how you perceive it, this is a beautiful aquarium. <laughs>